Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello! It is Pixabarners here, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Charles Tribulations. When we left off, craziness shit went south real fast. Yeah. And now we're playing as Edgeworth, and we're going to be defending Dahlia. I'm 99% I'm <laughs> sure, I would assume, unless it's some. Even, even though he's like, I'm a prosecutor. I don't know. Watch it be some like weird red herring switch where it's not actually her or something. I don't, I don't know. know. Like, what if? Because didn't if? Phoenix ask us, or ask Edgeworth to defend her? Because he gave him the Magatama and everything. Yeah. So, like, it, it's all fucking weird. But why would Phoenix, of all people, ask Edgeworth, of all people, to defend her, of all people? Listen, I don't know. <laughs> We've got to get answers, so I'm going to head in. I didn't what, see what, what they were you going to say, though? Um, I was going to say what if? probably like a 1% chance of this actually being a thing. But what if? What if, okay, the person that was the nun is like... What, Bikini? Just, no, who was ever, who's ever this... Uh, what, what are you going to... Is she calling herself now? Iris. Iris. What if Iris was a nun that channeled... Do Let's say Dahlia is like dead. And but Dahlia's she's supposed to be in prison. <laughs> Maybe she died. Maybe she killed herself in prison. I don't know. People do that. <laughs> but what if she's channeling through this person and has like become this person? Nah, no. I, like I said, it doesn't make any sense. But no. anyways, <laughs> in, in Edgeworth mode, I have to get ready because he's the one that's talking all the time. Yeah. So. <laughs> Mr. Serious Man. Yeah. So do you have any idea as to what really occurred that night, last night? I think it was the result of the tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed. Spiritual power? Yes, spiritual training has been a cause behind many great tragedies. This incident was just another example. Iris, I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual power. Yes, I understand. Most people don't. And I'm certain the thing that killed the victim was a human. So please answer me this simple question. Were you the one who killed Elise Den D Junum? <laughs> no. I'm not the one who took her life. Hmm. Those psycho lock things aren't appearing. <laughs> I like how he's calling them <laughs> psycho locks. I suppose that means I can believe she's not lying. <laughs> What's wrong? Can't believe what I'm thinking. And here I just finished saying I don't believe in spiritual power. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it appears that power is all you can tell me. It appears <laughs> that's about all you can you tell me. You added power in there. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening to my story. I visited Wright the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. M me Yes, at the trial tomorrow. He asked me to defend you. If Mr. Wright has that much faith in you, Mr. Edgeworth, then I will gladly entrust my fate to your capable hands. But before that, I have one question. Yes? Do you know Wright? Uh, wh why would you ask that? Whenever you came up in our conversation, you began to act a little strange. Mm. Mr. Edgeworth, what is Mr. Wright to you? He's a very dear and indispensable friend. Ah! <laughs> it was five years ago. That's when I... That's when I deceived him. So that straight up is her. Yeah. You deceived him? I heard that he was in a lot of pain afterwards because of what happened. I know what a weak person I am. That's why... That's why I thought it was best if he never saw me again. I wanted him to just forget about me without learning the truth. Hmm. Well, if you ask me, Wright is still suffering. Yeah. And until he learns the truth, I don't think he will ever be able to truly recover. Iris, it's not too late. You should go to him. Tell him the truth. I'll defend you, but only if you agree to that one condition. All right, Mr. Edgeworth. I promise. Very well. I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal. Oh, damn. Is this a redemption arc for Dahlia? I don't know. <laughs> that's weird. Uh, that's enough information gathering for now. I should head to the crime scene. Huh. Yeah, I don't have anything. I, I don't really have anything for the whole frightened part. Yeah, what was that music? That's new. It's it's the Edgeworth. It's the Edgeworth version. Music. Yeah. 
the hanging scroll and <laughs> Iris's hood and Hazakura Temple. And oh, co your newest shoe. Yeah, you're gonna go see this stuff. Photos of Elise. All right, anyways. <laughs> Um, I don't. How would they candid if she's looking at the camera? <laughs> I don't. Grant, I don't, I don't. I mean, he probably wouldn't. They probably wouldn't have me go anywhere else yet if it was to go there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. This. Can't really go to the crime scene because it's fucked. Yeah, look, it's all burnt. <laughs> it's all fucked. We can't get over there. It sure is cold, all right. So, this is it Dusky Bridge. Oh, uh, wow. It's you, Miss Edgeworth. As oh, him. oh no! Never mind. <laughs> oh wow, it's you, yeah, Mr. Edgeworth. No, uh, Larry would call him Edgy. <laughs> oh yeah. Ugh. Detective Gumshoe. It's our buddy. <laughs> <laughs> long time no see. It's been about a year. It's been longer. It doesn't matter, Detective. What does matter is why you're shuffling around up here. Oh, ouch! And there's that sharp left jab. <laughs> well, I'm happy to see you anyway, Miss Edgeworth. Let me guess. You're transferred by HR to the local precinct. A wise decision. The vast amount of nothing up here should be quite easy to guard. <laughs> I heard you were back in the country and arranged to come all the way out here. Everybody was real nice. They even let me take charge of the investigation, sir. Gumshoe indeed. Like gum on your shoe, he's impossible to get rid of. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to report on the details of the crime scene, sir. Anyway, here I am, Detective G Dick Gumshoe, reporting for duty. Yeah, dude, have you ever gotten gum at the bottom of your shoe? Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> it is pretty much almost impossible to get every last yeah. bit of it off. Great. Um, but thank you, Detective. <laughs> I thought Prosecutor Godot was going to get here before me. That guy's a real mystery, yeah, I tell you. Prosecutor Godot? <laughs> like, uh, so what <laughs> Who happened? Who was that? <laughs> I just got back into the country, so I don't really know much about the case. It's simple. Well, simple is as simple does, as they say. Oh, you got no idea how much I've missed that biting sarcasm of yours, sir. <laughs> but seriously, this one's a piece of cake. There's a witness that saw the whole thing. A witness? Yeah, that bikini lady. Oh, yeah, he doesn't know that's her name. Bikini lady here on this freezing cold mountain. <laughs> but you should talk to yourself if you want the details, sir. I may have to talk to this bikini lady. I mean, decisive witness myself. He just imagined a lady in a bikini in the mountains. <laughs> He's gonna be like, God, this is not what I came here for. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the bridge that Wright fell through. Yep, I can't imagine being that reckless myself. Look before you cross, is how low is how it goes right? Or was that leap? <laughs> and is there something on the other side? <laughs> yeah, some old buildings they call the inner temple. But we can't get over there without a bridge, sir. What? Nobody lives there, so it's usually not a problem. But someone who was at the other sink to tell there was a train now and they're stuck there. Yes, I heard that from right. It's Maya Fay. Yep. Oh no. Her again? <laughs> anyway, the air's really turbulent right now, so we can't do an aerial extraction. No one's gonna be able to reach the other temple until tomorrow, sir. Jesus. Well, she'd be alright in this cold. So how'd this bridge burn down anyway? We're almost 100% sure it was lightning. Lightning? Lightning? Okay, anyways, about Prosecutor Godot. So who is this Prosecutor Godot? I've never heard of him. Yeah, he's a new guy. Shut up after you left the country. He's a complete rookie, but nobody can say a bad word about the guy. What kind of man is he? He just gave a prosecutor recently, but he's good, sir. Real good. That's because he's not new to the court. <laughs> if he's so good, how is it I've never heard of him? Because <laughs> he used to be him. defense. <laughs> Is he the lead prosecutor in this case? You bet he is. Oh boy. After all, you know who was right in the middle of it. You know who? Phoenix Wright, of course. For some reason, Godot has really got it in for Mr. Wright. Oh? Yeah, he seems to have some kind of grudge. And who would be the case of this grudge? Cause. Cause. <laughs> this grudge. Uh -huh. Maybe he had fun of his mask or something. <laughs> no, this is making any sense. Better look into this Godot myself. Maybe he blames right for Mia's death? That wouldn't make any sense. No, I'm just reaching. Just why would he not like him? I don't know. Maybe we stole Mia's heart before she died. <laughs> oh, <laughs> lightning. You're telling me the bridge caught on fire due to a fluke bolt of lightning? Yep, last night snow for the first time in three days. It's a little unusual for lightning to occur during a snowfall like that. But according to the weather data, lightning definitely struck. Weird. Hmm. 
It was spiritual lightning. <laughs> hmm, I see. This is a very detailed weather report. Almost too detailed. It even has the exact time the lightning struck the bridge. No, oh, that we got that information from the witness's testimony. Someone actually saw the lightning hit the bridge? Who is this witness? Uh so I'll go ask one of the local cops later, sir. It's probably Larry. Probably. I mean he was here painting shit all day long, so. Mm-hmm. Um I mean probably nothing to really show him, so. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and move on over to yeah, Bikini I guess Wright Bottom. Gave us the court record, so I guess. <laughs> or we just psychically transmitted to each other. Wow, 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 wow. Well, wow, I gave wow. him the Magatama when he was there, so. Yeah, you're right. Yo, Edgy, see? What took you so long? <laughs> I'm so cool about bracing the Sherbert. I love Sherbert. <laughs> I know it was a stake to race back to this country. <laughs> but what do you mean? Right is going to be fine, and the case itself isn't anything unusual. And I find myself taking a request to defend a woman accused of murder. Hey, 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 wait a second. Hold that objection. He's like, what? What's going on here, Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> um, it's hard to explain, but one thing led to another, and... What kind of excuse is that? And you call yourself a defense attorney? <laughs> prosecute Edgeworth is a prosecutor, and that's why he's Prosecute Edgeworth. <laughs> prosecute Edgeworth defense attorney just sounds plain old weird, pal. Yeah. Right, Prosecute Edgeworth. <laughs> I'm not sure what Rome's supposed to be playing anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, edgy. I don't see you for a couple of years and your heart turns to Sherbert. I'd say more like Sorbet. It's rather cold here. I just didn't murder her. Someone else did it. I just know it, okay? You can trust me on this one. And that's when you know that's not the case. Okay, yeah. Larry? Fuck. <laughs> if we do it, her. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Whoops. Sorry, I was mimicking you. Sorry. <laughs> Ever romantic, aren't you, Larry? Nevertheless, I'll do whatever I can to prove her innocence. At least until I pass the baton on to right, that is. Oh, <sighs> Jesus Christ. All right. Man, I'm telling you, Iris is so cute. Right, Edgy? You think so too, don't you? <sighs> <laughs> What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? To put it simply, your comment has me highly concerned. Could it be of the reason you think she's innocent? Uh, Come on, a girl that cute can't possibly be a murderer. Oh my god. Uh, I was right after all. I should never have come back. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. I see things for how they really are this time. Honest. If I had a penny for every time he said that. Uh, it's just that, well, I used to see like a flower. Oh my god. You can't force things too much. Know what I mean? I, I, I have no idea what you're talking about, Larry. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, forget it. I didn't say anything. Huh? Jesus. All right. <laughs> Larry bike. <laughs> Larry, when you, where were you and what were you doing on the night of the crime? Eh? Larry? What? D don't tell me. You think I might have done it? What? what? Get lost! Go back to your try to get and get out of my sight, you creep! And lose you, and I hope your plane crashes you die! Wow! <clears throat> um, uh, I'll ask just one more time. On the night of the murder, where were you and what were you doing? Whoa. Uh. What? As I suspected, psycho locks. Uh. I'm sorry, man. You know me. I just don't remember. Larry, did you kill her? Wreck, dude. Um. Okay, we'll come back to you in a bit. I have a feeling we're gonna go in the main hall and just get more Jeez. psycho locks from her. <laughs> I like how is you that, call them psycho is locks. Is there a piece of paper under that thing over there? There is. That wasn't what? there before. It's it's under the bar oh, right there, but there's yeah. a piece of paper down there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hello there. So, um, so how you feeling? All right, I suppose. That, who is this? <laughs> I my name is Miles Edgeworth. My my my, <laughs> a handsome boy such as yourself is always welcome. <laughs> if circumstances weren't so tragic, I might just. Please don't call me boy. <laughs> I'm sorry to trouble you, but I'm looking for a woman in a bikini. <laughs> well, you have you have found her. Now what can I do for you? Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't see any bikinis. <laughs> if you ask nicely, I might give you a peek, big boy. Oh God. <laughs> uh, Mr. Edgeworth, 
This is the head nun, Sister Bikini. She's the witness. Uh, why didn't you tell me that earlier? This is exactly why your salad keeps getting cut. Oh. Yeah. My stuff is already growling in protest. Uh, from so, Halloween. um, Whoa. what's the latest about my beloved Iris? Well, first, I want to hear what you know. All right, let's talk. Yeah. I just, I just thought about something. What? I should, I should examine as Edgeworth. Oh yeah. That thing sure casts a strong presence over the whole room. This is the lesser Magadama. It's a precious heirloom containing a great many souls. Huh? This is lesser? What's, what's, what's the greater one like? The greater Magadama is displayed in the main room of Fey Manor. It was supposed to be shown at the Treasures of Korean exhibit. <laughs> we have it. But it was so large that they couldn't bring it through the Never doors. Never mind, we don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I need to examine this. There's a piece of paper down here. There are more ends of cushions in the corner of the room. What's that white piece of paper sticking up in front of that stack? Huh. <laughs> Beats me. Oh my god. Would you mind checking it out for me, Detective Gumshoe? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, just go get that for him. I'm too busy. <laughs> go fetch. <laughs> Here you are, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> it looks like an old manila envelope. Yeah. <laughs> what? What is Detective? <laughs> this, this, this could be it. An ultra important clue. A super special clue. I suppose I should read it myself then. <laughs> Looks like a letter addressed to Sister Iris. Oh. Tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall. Unless you want your secret to be exposed. I guess the secret that, that, that she's that, Dahlia? That, this sounds like a blackmail letter. Huh. <laughs> nice going there, Mr. Edgeworth. I have a feeling that's going to go towards her... <laughs> psycho locks. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Why can't they ever find clues like that? You're an ultra important prosecutor, super duper prosecutor. Well, I suppose it takes a super duper kind of dumb to miss a clue like oh. this. <laughs> Oofies. <laughs> Oofies. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk to you. Night of the crime. First, I'd like to ask you about last night. Well, last night, we had an acolyte here for training. After dinner, the two of us went to the training hall in the inner temple. She was talking about Maya. Approximately what time was that? I suppose it was about nine when we left here. Mm. Training lasts all night long. It's extremely exhausting. The chilling dojo's head nun must be in attendance at all times to keep watch. Well, you're right. That does sound Wait, exhausting. Wait, how did she get back over here? If they couldn't get Maya? That's a good question. <clears throat> you know? Because she was supposed to be over there with her. Yeah. So what the well, heck? The lightning did happen afterwards, if I'm correct. Because if I remember right, it was when we were out there that the lightning struck. Maybe, if I'm recalling that correctly. Because the lady, the lady was like at the crime scene when Maya was across the bridge. What was up with that? You know? Because she's know. supposed to be with her at all times when she's in there. Yeah, that's what a the good heck? question. Yeah, I don't know. Let's let's figure things out. Anyways, detective, this is no time for flattery. Sorry. Sometime around 11, you witnessed the incident in the cart yard. But your duty was in the inner temple. Yeah. Why did you come back here? Hmm. <clears throat> the way you stand at me, I'm starting to get goosebumps. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to get goosebumps myself, but for a decidedly different reason. <laughs> you get the chills pretty easy, don't you, Miss Edgeworth? Oh, Jesus. All right, then. I'd like to ask you to tell me what you exactly saw in the court yard. Courtyard? Courtyard. <laughs> ha, da, 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 da. <laughs> you know what? Do you want to have Bikini's voice? Um, uh, I have too many voices now. I was going to say, I have like nothing. <laughs> I have too many voices now. And since all the girls disappeared, I have, yeah. I have all the voices. So <laughs> this is all you. I didn't know Edgeworth was going to come back either. <laughs> yeah, no. All right, you take Bikini from now on. Oh, God. It's also getting too close to Gumshoe for me to do anything. It is. Her, so. Do I have to? <laughs> Aim for it. Go for it. <laughs> oh no. Do your best female gumshoe impression. I don't want to do the gravelly part though. Yeah, go with the flow. Go with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you got this. I mean, this. it's basically my New York accent, just deeper. <laughs> but I mean, it's a lady, so you need to do it like yeah. higher. Like, how much higher, though? <laughs> it's an old lady. <laughs> it must have been past 11 o'clock. That works. <laughs> I 
don't know. I can't say it. it. It's too much for my poor heart. Perfect. <laughs> hey, calm down, lady. I let go of my tie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um. I saw two people. One of them was lying on the ground. The, the other one was stabbing her from the back with a sword. Uh, Jesus. Uh, um, that looks like Iris. It does. Um, and that looks very graphic. Yeah, that's like straight through the fucking like torso appendix. <laughs> Did you see this criminal with your own eyes? I didn't want to believe what I was seeing, but it was Iris. You must have been quite shocked. Of course she was, dropping yourself in her shoes, pal. And it would, it would it'd have been like if you were stabbing Mr. Wright smack in the middle of the courtroom. And I happened to witness it from the witness stand. I'd be pretty shocked, too. <laughs> I know it sounds insane, but that's what I saw. And when I finally realized what I was seeing, I screamed, and then I passed out. In the snow? <laughs> I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately Tried to us. call for help, but I missed <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. Unfortunately for us, her testimony seems to be pretty solid. However, the idea of I was doing such a foul act seems unnatural. Mm. Granted, actually, she never really, like... She's... Well, actually, no, she did kill someone herself. I, uh, well, yeah, no, she killed someone herself. Yeah, sorry. Like no, that, no, no. though? <laughs> I don't know how she killed her sister. <laughs> mm. That's the question. We never really got down to that. Well, it certainly wasn't with a freaking sword. No, anyway, it's un unnatural. The girl I know simply isn't capable of this sort of foulness. I wonder what she means by that. And anyways, why return? As the head nun, it's your duty to stay with the accolade at all times, correct? Yes, that's correct. I know I may look strong, but the truth is, I've got a bad lower back. A bad lower back? Yes, it's especially bad in the winter. So bad that I can't even lift the bucket. Do you remember how cold it was last night? My bad back felt as stiff as frozen glass. <laughs> I just wanted to take a nice hot bath to ease my aching back. That's why I returned to the main hall. So you left the disciple all alone. Don't be ridiculous. I would never do that. That's why I would have Iris stood it in the temple if she had rung the bell for last out. Yes, but she never went to the Aaron temple, Her did she? Her voice is evolving. <laughs> so did this head nun actually see Iris there? I think I better try to get some more details. Hmm. So who is this acolyte that was in that was to train in the inner temple? Her name is Maya Fay. I treated her very badly, I'm ashamed to say. I'm dropping a rap. Listen <laughs> to me. <laughs> and after she went through the trouble of signing up for the special course. Special course. It's a training session where you're sitting on the block of spirit ice and chant thirty thousand times. She's probably still going and has no idea what's oh, happening God. right now. <laughs> You mean to tell me that she's still... You mean to tell me that she's still doing that over at the end temple, do you? No, 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 of course not. I, you don't have to worry about that one little bit. Last night, we still hadn't started the training session itself. Well, uh, that's good to hear. Oh, dear, dear, there's one thing I forgot to tell you. Oh, I don't think I like the sound of this. Do you know that small girl? I believe she is Mystic Maya's little sister. Maya has a little sister? Oh, you mean little Pearl? That's my face cousin. Little. Oh yeah. Pearl. He, she, they only met like once. <laughs> yeah. I thought she was going to visit Mystic Elise after we'd finished with dinner cleanup, but I haven't seen her at all since last night. She's nowhere to be found. Y you mean she, she was with the victim? It's all the fault of my stupid, creaky old bat. A little girl who was with the victim on the night of the murder. Is gone. That's As not a good they sign. Say, the plot thickens. <laughs> Jesus. Oh Christ. Okay. Um. Let me get a little bit of details out about Iris from you. Uh, okay. That's didn't not we how already? That would... Hang on. You said you went with Maya to the training on <laughs> the last night. Did you happen to see Iris while you were there? Of course, I saw her. I told her to meet us after ringing the ten o'clock bell for lights out. So you're saying Iris came to the inner temple then? Of course she did. Iris has always been a good obedient girl. After that, I had Iris help Mystic Maya begin her training. 
But that doesn't fit with Iris' story at all. No. She said that she never went to the Inner Temple. Hmm. As they say, the plot <laughs> thickens again. again. <laughs> huh. Hmm. <sighs> okay, so I think that's about all we got from. Yeah, that's right, her. Pearl's nine now. So. All right. Oh, the court. Oh, courtyard. No, the actual crime scene. I didn't. Oh realize God! I look go at here. the blood. Yeah. Jesus. Oh boy. <laughs> and this is where the murder took place, sir. Other than removing the body, we left everything else untouched. Thanks, detective. I'll just have to take a look around. Looks like the police are still investigating. Oh yeah, by the way, I thought I'd better ask just to be sure. Are you really gonna defend that nun Iris at the trial tomorrow? Yes, I will. I give my word now I must follow through with my commitment. Well, in that case, I've gotta be careful. Gotta make sure I don't leak the prosecution's whole investigation. Don't worry about it, detective. Just keep your mouth closed and I think most of it will flow out on its own. You got it, sir. I'll make sure it flows out like a trap, like a like a water, like water from a tap. Like yeah. a trap from water. <laughs> you do that, detective. Just how much has your runny spout leaked over the years? A lot. Everything, sir. You have no idea. <laughs> All right, and now I can actually talk to him and get yeah. some details from that leak out of his mouth. The victim is the famous picture book author Elise Dunham. Her entire past up until she won that writing award last year is a total mystery. It's like she might be Maya Faye's mother. <laughs> It's hard to believe it, or it's hard to believe in this day and age you can still find people like that. The estimated time of death of the victim was between 10 and 11 p.m. on February 7th. The cause of death was blood loss resulting from a stab to the back by the murder weapon. The murder weapon? The victim was found skewed with a giant sword, sir. But that's terrible. Yeah, but there's one strange thing. Yeah? The victim's entire body was covered with bruises. What? The bruises are consistent with falling from a height of a two-story building. Jesus. Jesus, fuck. A two-story building? That ought to be about the same height as the room from in front of us, correct? Hey, you're right. Way to go, Miss Edgeworth. That just happens to be the room that Lee Steunum was staying in. Uh... Maybe she was pushed out of the window after she was stabbed by the sword? Jesus Christ. Okay, so... Wow. Lost blood from seven in the back. Body fell ten feet after, after death. After death. Weird. Wait, did, wait. Yeah, that's weird. Body fell ten feet after death. But, like, it showed her being stabbed right there on the ground. Which means she was being stabbed afterwards. Huh. The plot thickens, pal. Oh, God. Huh. So, even if uh, Bikini saw Iris stabbing the victim, she was dead beforehand. But it says the cause of death was loss of blood from stab in the back. And it says she fell saying, after death. Yeah, fell after death. The bruises were caused post-mortem. That's weird. Because they picked up the body from... Over well, there. Plus that, that also means that Bikini's lying about what she saw. Well, no, because the body was over here. I, I, you know, I don't know. Anyways, what happened? Yeah, that is Now weird. then, detective. Let's see if we can summarize what we learned so far. Okay, let's take a look at the map. <sighs> According to the testimony of Sister Bikini, the head nun, right after they'd finished dinner, she and Maya Faye headed to the inner temple. Wobbadoo 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 weep wobb up. That's gonna take a long time, you two. <laughs> Why was the bridge the fastest part? Okay. <laughs> At 10 p.m. after ringing the bell for lights out, I was into the temple. Yabbadoo gabbadoo skibbi dabbadoo doop skibbi wop 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 There we go. Boom, right in there. If I can hit the microphone. When she got there, Bikini had to take over for a while, so she went back to Hazakura Temple. Okay. Are you okay? I'm doing the sounds backwards. After taking a hot bath, I've taken a hot bath to soothe the back. Sis Bikini witnessed the murder in the courtyard. If you want more details, you should ask Bikini itself in the main hall. Near a temple, huh? I'd like some more information about that place. Hmm. Because, hmm. I mean, 
another weird thing with this is that if we examine this, like, they say they didn't touch anything from the crime scene, and the statue's been holding that sword. Yeah. So I want to get some details on after I talk to Gumshoe a little bit. So let's talk about tomorrow's trial. The trial begins tomorrow, but who's the prosecutor? I'm pretty sure it's that Godot guy, but nobody can get a hold of him, so they're looking for the replacement. Oh. What do you mean? It's really weird. All of a sudden, no one can reach him. <laughs> I wonder if the rumors are true. Maybe since Mr. Wright called a cold and won't be defending, he just lost interest. I intend to appear in court in the role of defense attorney. However, I'd be quite unhappy if it came out that I'm actually a prosecutor. Yeah, I can see why, but I'm not the only one you have to, I'm not the one you have to worry about. Mm. I think the real problem is gonna be that judge. Yeah, he certainly would remember my face even after such a Feast? long absence. <laughs> face after all such a long absence. That's why I request them to let the judge preside over the trial tomorrow. Oh well. We've <laughs> only met each other once. <laughs> we'll be the, oh, it'll good, be this <laughs> one. There's a good chance he won't remember me at all. <laughs> but yeah, but what about the prosecutor? Everyone in the prosecutor's office must know you. Wouldn't it be a problem if someone there made a big stink, sir? There's no need to worry. I pull a few strings and arrange for a prosecutor of my own choosing. Oh. <gasps> I, I was I was oh. I was about to say I wonder if it's someone that might owe us a little bit. Oh that probably also flew in on the country with us. Oh. <laughs> wow, Miss Edgeworth, I had no idea you had such a powerful string to pull. Alright. Or should I say whip? <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it. All right, and we're going to talk about the Iron Temple and get all of the rest of the shit figured out next time. Oh, man. Hooey.